Chapter Five. It was almost morning by the time we reached my house, but Mum, Dad, and Aunt Crystal had stayed up to wait for me. Mum jumped into the sled as soon as it landed and gave me a hug, squeezy cuddled. How did it go? She asked. Are you okay? I'm fine. I told her, squeezing back. It was wonderful. Well done, said Mum. You've done a great job. It's time for us sleep now, Drew. Though, said Dad, looking at his watch, it's my bedtime too. He lifted me and carried me into the house and up to my bed. I fell asleep before my head even hit the pillow, and I slept all day. Through the morning and all through the lunch, then I woke. It was an afternoon. I had a dream. I had. I said to Pink Rabbit. Then I rubbed my eyes and blinked to remember that it hadn't been a dream at all. We had gone on a adventure to the land of ice and snow. When I got up and looked from the mirror, there was a snowflake on my cheeks, in exactly the place where Snow Queen had kissed me. It will fade all time," said Aunt Crystal. When I showed her, and after bouncing into the kitchen for a snack, but it's pretty while it lasts. The snow is still there," I said, looking out the window at our white garden. "Your magic fairy snow, not my fairy snow anymore," said Aunt Crystal, and pointed beyond the garden to the house behind, which we have now covered in snow too. I gazed up at the sky and saw huge white flakes. Spinning round down to towards us, it's snowing for real," said Aunt Mum. "It started while we are asleep. You are asleep." I grabbed the peanut butter, grabbed the peanut butter sandwich, and then called Zoe, Sashi, Samantha, Dominic, Jasper, and Bruno. I hesitated for a moment when I called the lovers too. How was your party? I asked him. Great, thanks," said Oliver. "I've saved you some cake and a balloon." Really? I said. That's so nice. Thank you. No problem," said Oliver. By my way, it's snowing. Do you want to come and play? That's what that I going to ask you," I said. Zoe was the first to arrive, and we ran out into the garden together, starting to roll, blank, and magic snow, make snowmen. I secretly hope, just a teeny bit, there that they would come to life again like yesterday. But deep down, I knew they wouldn't. The magical magic snow had disappeared. After a while, Sashi arrived and joined in too, and then Oliver, Bruno, Samantha, Dominic, and Jasper. We started to roll snowballs and drew them all each other. Snow splatting all over our coats and down our necks. It was the best snowball fight ever. And we went inside, and Mum melted a bar of real chocolate to make extra thick hot chocolate, and red blanket and white cream and marshmallows sprinkled on top. I nibbled on a piece of Oliver's birthday cake and looked around happily at my friends. I'm a snow boy. And we had so much fun each other, but I love my old friends too. The hot choc, the hot chocolate warmed my whole body, and make me feel all cozy inside. I smelled a big content, contently smiled. It、uh, it had been a magical weekend, and I couldn't want wait to talk. The snow boy drew the snow globe that evening. 
I was teacher. The memory of our adventures in the land of ice, snow forever.